Hello and welcome to the Rubidium Frequency Stability and Accuracy video by Enritsu. In this video, we will be discussing how frequency stability and accuracy are defined, what options are available on the Rubidium Signal Generator platform, how each option works, and which customers will benefit most from having frequency stability and accuracy in their applications. Let's start, shall we? The best way to start with frequency stability and accuracy is by defining what we mean for signal generators. We find the best way to illustrate what frequency stability and accuracy are is through the use of visual representations. Below we have four plots that will help us understand the differences between combinations of stability and accuracy. In the first plot, we have a stable signal, but it lacks accuracy. Stable in the sense that it does not deviate about the frequency f, but simultaneously inaccurate as it should be stable around the nominal frequency f0. This is problematic for users and can result in many issues from bad data to loss of time troubleshooting why a measurement is not working correctly. The second example shows a signal that is neither stable nor accurate. This is the worst case scenario for any signal generator user. The plot shows poor signal stability as the frequency is moving farther and farther away from the nominal frequency. There will be several changes in the signal direction across the frequency axis to and from the nominal frequency. The third example shows accuracy about the nominal frequency, but with no real stability. Please note that the accuracy in this case is defined as the average value of the signal, which will converge on the nominal frequency, but in any particular point over time may not be consistently on the nominal frequency. The final example shows both stability and accuracy. As you may have guessed, the signal here is stable, and there are no abrupt changes or large swings about the nominal frequency. The accuracy about the nominal frequency assures users that they will be at the nominal frequency for all intents and purposes. The next natural question should be, what causes instruments to behave in any of the scenarios we have just shared? For signal generators, most of the behavior that we have just explored would be attributed to the frequency reference. To make this point clear, we have a table that shows three references aging rate contributions, and their respective stability and accuracy qualities. Aging rate is a consistent drift in frequency in one direction for very long periods of time, which results ultimately in frequency and accuracy. One other point to mention is short term is defined as less than one second, and long term is defined as greater than one day. We start with the OCXO, which has poor aging rate and likewise poor long term stability and accuracy. For some applications, this performance may be enough, but for critical applications, these qualities may be inappropriate. Next, we have Rubidium and GNSS GPS references. They both display very good aging rates. With negligible differences in stability, users can expect exceptionally good accuracy and now have choices for an accurate reference depending on their specific measurement applications. Now that we have established what frequency stability and accuracy are, and how references affect those parameters, we can now take a look at the various options for frequency stability and accuracy of Rubidium signal generators. Rubidium signal generators feature two options for frequency stability and accuracy. Option 56, ultra stable time base with Rubidium, and option 66, GNSS GPS atomic clock receiver. We can start with option 56, ultra stability time base with Rubidium. Option 56 features a Rubidium time base, which provides an order of magnitude better frequency stability and accuracy than an OCXO reference, while still maintaining test and measurement quality phase noise. This option provides atomic clock frequency stability and accuracy. This performance can also be used to tie other signal generators to an accurate atomic frequency reference. This can be accomplished through a 10 MHz reference output or 1 PPS output signal. Option 66 GNSS Global Navigation Satellite System and GPS Global Positioning Satellite Atomic Clock Receiver also provides atomic clock accuracy. As described in the acronyms, these references rely on satellites for a synced and accurate time-based reference. One of the nice qualities about this option is that it can further enable the infield calibration option. Like option 56, Stability performance can be used to tie other signal generators through a 10 MHz reference or a 1 PPS output signal. 
To truly emphasize rubidium's frequency, stability, and accuracy, currently none of the signal generators in the market offer built-in option for atomic clock frequency, stability, and accuracy. We have added an additional table to show various parameters and their effect on the various rubidium options. We have aging rate per day, per year, temperature effects, and short-term stability. We can see that Rubidian's option 56 and 66 provide an order of magnitude or better performance across all parameters than the OCXO based signal generator. When we discuss potential customers and users, the application and flexibility will dictate which option should be used. Option 56 is very useful for customers such as military and aerospace who do not prefer to depend on syncing to any external signals such as a satellite for achieving atomic clock frequency accuracy. It is also useful in situations where a satellite signal is inaccessible for any reason. For customers that can access a GPS GNSS signal and require atomic clock accuracy like metrology calibration labs and others can benefit from option 66. We hope that you have found this informational video useful for understanding frequency stability and accuracy and what choices users have with the Rubidium signal generators. Thank you for joining us today, and for more information, please visit www.enrichu.com. Thank you.